Hey guys! So this video is actually going to be my favorites for I guess the month of November, but it's not really beauty favorites, just so you guys know. There's a few in here, but it's mostly like, I just spit when I said that. It's mostly like random lifestyle sort of favorites. The reason why is because for most of the month of November, well not most of the month, but two weeks out of the month of November, I was pretty sick. So I definitely wasn't using a lot of makeup, I wasn't really getting ready to go anywhere, I wasn't going anywhere. Um, so I didn't really use a lot of beauty products so why sit here and lie to you and act like this is a favorite when I really didn't even use it you know what I'm saying so I hope you guys are gonna be interested in what I have to show you because I loved it all so the first thing is a favorite that I would never really expect that I'd want to share with you guys but it is literally something I've been obsessed with this entire month and it involves this thing right here. It is called Whistle and it is actually an activity tracker for your dog. Um, I have an activity tracker for humans and I love it. It's great. I haven't really been using it very much but I, I actually have it. I think I featured it in another video or I talked about it in other favorites maybe. I don't remember. Um, but this is for your dog. Really really amazing. You guys are looking at pictures right now of the actual unit and also the app um, so you guys can get a good idea. Now what I really like about it is, um, well there's a few things I really like about it. When I'm not with her I can actually look on my app, say I'm at work, and see her motion and if she's moving and if my husband's playing with her or um, if we're both gone we can see if she's just resting on the couch or what's going on so it's like a really great um, monitoring tool when you're not around which I love when you first set it up you put in all your dog's information um, the breed their size their weight all of that stuff and then the app actually kind of recommends a amount of time that they should be exercising for the day which is amazing now she's a border collie and she's four. So it recommends like a lot of time. Um, we typically keep it around 50 or 60 minutes a day was what we try for. There's been days that she's done 70 and 80 minutes, but it really depends on the situation. There's also been days she's only gotten like 18 minutes. So it just depends on the weather and if we're around on how much exercise she's getting. Another thing that's really cool is, of course I set it up first on my phone, but then I wanted Cody, my husband to have it as well. Um, so he has it on his phone as well. And I think you can have up to six different owners um, using the same app for the same dog. So you guys can all be putting in information about what they ate, exercise, you know what I'm saying. It's so cool. <laughs> I really am app, like really obsessed with this. I can't stop checking it. Like I'm always on my phone looking at the app to see how much extra, like she didn't really get much today. But yesterday we went on a nice long walk. So yesterday she did really well. Today she's only had four minutes. <laughs> We're gonna work on that. <laughs> Overall, if you guys are a dog owner yourselves or a family member is and you're obsessed with your dog like I am, I feel like this is an awesome, awesome thing to have. You just put it right on their collar. Um, it's not too big. I'd say it's probably the size of like a silver dollar. And it's literally just a little circle thing you put on their collar. It's very easy to charge. It actually holds a charge for about 10 days. I've actually found it to hold it closer to two weeks a charge, which is awesome. It charges in like an hour. It's just really awesome. I could see us using this thing for years and years and years to come. I'm gonna have a link below, obviously, to Whistle's website if you guys would like to check them out. Um, I really suggest it. Big fan. Another thing or person I'm a big fan of, <laughs> It's not a thing, it's a person. Uh, it's a YouTuber, her name is Lindsay Marie. Now I typically don't talk about other YouTubers on my channel, but I think this is something I might start doing because it's nice to kind of talk about each other and spread the word. Um, I contacted her and I told her how much I liked her channel. Um, and so I asked her if it'd be all right if I featured her in my monthly favorites. She agreed. Uh, I think she might be talking about my channel too, which was really cool of her. So go check her out guys. She, I believe is from Georgia. Her videos, her personality seems a lot like mine, kind of like, out there um, and her videos are really awesome she does a lot of fashion things which I don't do I don't do fashion stuff I'm not very fashionable if you can't tell if you guys are into that sort of thing go check out her channel um, her videos are really great quality they're nicely edited just somebody you may want to watch again she'll be linked below did I mention that she's gorgeous I think she's very pretty also this is a big favorite <laughs> So I'm in Florida if you didn't know that it is not super cold here definitely not like the north east or the Plains area or the Midwest sort of states. But for Florida, it gets pretty chilly and it had gotten pretty chilly um, like before Thanksgiving. It was mm, into like the 30s at night, which our houses are not meant for that. We don't have good heat insulation. We keep the heat out, we don't keep it in. Um, so what, <laughs> my next favorite is a blanket, but it's not just any blanket, it is a heated blanket. You guys see this, there's a heat thingy here. It's actually from Sunbeam um, and it is a really, really soft, like olive -y green heated blanket. Now I've been using this a lot and either I'm getting immune to the level of heat that's coming off of it or it's not getting as hot, which is breaking my heart. It's still getting warm, but for a while there, 
there, it would be like so hot that I couldn't deal with it. It has three different settings, low, medium, and high. You can get these on Amazon. I think I saw them at BJ's, the wholesale club, if you guys are interested in picking up a heated blanket. This is more like a heated throw. Like they have really, really big ones. And then they have these that are more manageable, I guess is the word you're looking for. And there's like coil running all throughout it. I absolutely love this thing. What sucks is that when I put it on, walk away, I come back to all of my animal friends laying on it. Like they steal my heated blanket, which I can't blame them because why wouldn't they? My next favorite also has something to do with the chilliness and that is hot cocoa. <laughs> this is from Target, you guys. This is the Archer Farms uh, hot cocoa. It's in peppermint. I love this so, so, so much. It's absolutely delicious and it's cheap because it's from Archer Farms. Um, you use milk with this. I I imagine you could use water, but I've only used milk. What I do is just take a coffee mug, not this big. This is for my actual coffee, like a, a normal size coffee mug. I fill it up with milk, microwave it for a minute and a half, I think is like the perfect amount of time. And then I put this in, stir it up and it's delicious. Um, I love mint chocolate. It's like my favorite seasonal flavor. Whenever I go to Starbucks, which I don't go too often, but if I do, I tend to lean toward the minty chocolatey sort of drinks. So this is a hit. Okay, as I mentioned, I was sick this month. Uh, I think I had the flu or fluish symptoms. I don't have it with me because I took it all, but I wanted to let you guys know of a product called Sambucal. I may be saying that wrong. I'm gonna have a picture of it here somewhere. Um, it is black elderberry and what they are, well, there's different versions of it, but the one I was taking are little tabs that dissolve in your mouth. You take a little tab, put it in your mouth, let it dissolve. And it's supposed to help either one, totally get rid of your cold or flu or like lessen the duration of it. It also helps to remove the symptoms that you are suffering from. I really like it. It tastes all right. Usually these things like Zycam and Airborne and stuff like that, um, they don't really taste the best, but this is actually pretty darn tasty, these little tablets, and they dissolve so quickly that it's not even like if you didn't like the taste it's only in your mouth for a little bit so if you guys are sick feeling like you're getting sick someone in your family is sick i suggest you pick these up and start popping them in your mouth if you can check the ingredients it's pretty much all natural and from what i read on the box there are no known no known side effects okay so didn't really get ready too much this month, but I did use this a couple of times. <laughs> I posted a picture on my Instagram of me with my hair totally straightened and somebody asked what flat iron I used. And I said, a crock, and they didn't know what that was. And it is my flat iron. Um, it is a crock infrared. I have not really used this too, too much lately, but when I do use this, which I use it twice this month, but when I do use this, my hair is like perfectly pin straight, which I have pretty straight hair anyway, but it stays perfectly pin straight and smooth and and shiny and silky until I wash it again. And then when I wash it again, it's so it feels like it's so much easier to wash. I don't know why that is, but it is. These flat irons are not super cheap. I, I got this from Ulta a couple Christmases ago, and I think it was like around $120. You could probably find them on discount websites and things like that. But um, if you guys are looking for a good flat iron, a lot of people haven't heard of this one before. They hear of like the big name, the Chi, the T3, Croc. Croc is pretty darn good, you guys. And in here, there's actually a little light. Can you see this? See how there's two different color plates here? In the center, there's infrared light. I don't I don't know if that does anything. I fell for it, it's gimmicky, but um, it's, it's there and it blinks red and it's supposed to help like keep moisture in your hair or something, I don't know. Okay, now we're getting into more of like the beauty, obviously the flat iron was like a beauty thing, but there's a few more beauty things I'm gonna talk about. I actually received this, I think, in a FabFitFun box. Um, it's a Pure Lease face lotion, SPF 30, so it has sunscreen, all that jazz. I use this in the morning and I really like it <laughs> a lot. It um, feels a little greasy when you put it on, but I, I feel like it does, it's not greasy in the way that it's gonna make you break out. It's like oils, if that makes sense. Where I feel like my skin is just drinking it up and my skin's super dry right now because of the weather, it's acting crazy. So I feel like this is really, really nice and my skin is loving it. Now, the times that I have worn makeup this month, which have been minimal um, and months prior to this, I have been using this product to remove it. This is from Julep. It is the Bare Face Cleansing Oil. It is a lot like MAC. Um, what is that stuff called? Cleanse off oil, I think. What I do is I basically pump this into my hand, rub it all over my face. I add a little bit of water, rub it all over my face, and then I rinse it off. I usually wash, wash, talking too fast. I usually wash it, wash my face afterwards just to make sure I got all of the product off. But this is so good at taking off all of your makeup. If I have a lot of eye makeup on, I'll put it on a cotton ball, hold it on my eye, kind of gently rub it around and then remove it like that. So any kind of cleanse off oil, um, if you guys are looking for one, you could always pick this one up. I know the MAC one is really good. I've used that one before. It seems to be the key in taking off your makeup 
quickly and effectively. And lastly is something I'm really excited about. Now, you know how I said I haven't broken out in a while, right? I do have a little bit right here, but don't judge me. Um, I was using a treatment from acne.org, a benzoyl peroxide treatment, which I loved and I've been using it for a very long time. Um, I think I found something better. This is from Dr. Song, which I don't really think is an actual doctor. <laughs> Um, it is a same exact percentage of benzoyl peroxide, 2.5%. Since I've been using this, I have had little to no breakouts at all. Someone's texting me. When I was using the acne.org acne treatment, I feel like I was still having breakouts every now and then, okay, dealing with them, whatever. This I have not had nearly as many with, and I don't know if it's because I just started using it, my skin's still kind of like surprised by it or what. Um, it's been about a month now, I think, that I've been using this, and it's cheaper, which is always good. <laughs> so if you guys are looking for a facial treatment for your acne, if you use benzoyl peroxide treatments, this might be one you wanna look into. It is not expensive, you get a lot of product, and it's effective, which is always a good thing. All right guys, so that is it for my November monthly favorites. Uh, I like doing um, random things, and if you guys are okay with me doing random things I could probably do more monthly favorites because again I don't use makeup a ton um, so it's hard to come up with beauty favorites every single month so if you guys are okay with me showing you hot cocoa and blankets and talking about youtubers let me know and I would be more than happy to do more monthly favorite videos for you guys thank you guys so much for watching bye